Hi everyone, my name is Iman. This is the Iman Global YouTube channel. Welcome back to another AI tutorial. Please support my YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Let's get started. Iman Global YouTube channel. We visit the Kling AI website. From the top right corner, I click on the create button. The Kling website has recently undergone some changes. Now, the gallery of works generated by Kling AI is displayed on this page in two categories, image and video. When we click on one of the works, a details window for that item opens. In this window, we can view the video or image in a larger size. The prompt used to generate the item is also visible in this new window. By clicking the recreate button, you can enter all the details, including the prompt and its settings into a new generation process and create a new item that is different from the previous one. To create an account and log in, I click on the sign in button, which is located at the bottom left corner of the site. As you can see, it's possible to create an account using Google, Apple, or a personal email. I click on sign in with Google. I select one of the Gmail accounts that is already open. In this way, a user account is created and I enter my dashboard in the Kling AI video generator. In the bottom left corner, I click on the profile page link. Then I click on profile setting. This section includes account settings such as changing the password, deleting the account, and also the sign out option. Just below the profile link, the number of tokens in the account is displayed. By clicking on the subscribe option, we can review the available plans and their token limits. As I've shown you step by step, by creating an account, at the time of releasing this video, you receive 166 free tokens, which are also recharged every month. With these tokens, you can create images, videos, or even sound using Kling AI and truly test its features. These free tokens are currently given monthly to new users, but this may change in the future, or the amount may increase or decrease. So if you're planning to try this tool, it's better to do it sooner rather than later. I myself am using the free plan, which comes with certain limitations. For example, the number of outputs, final quality, and processing time are lower in the free version compared to the paid plans. Some features, like advanced settings or high resolution outputs, are only available to paid users. I hope that after watching this tutorial, you'll be able to decide more easily whether the paid version of Kling is really necessary for your work, or if the free plan is enough. Let's explore the text-to-video feature of Kling AI. To enter the text-to-video section, I click on the video link from the left-hand menu. On the new page, the works I previously created using this AI are displayed. Please note that in the video model drop-down list at the top left corner of the site, the latest version of Kling, currently version 1.6, should be selected. A bit further down, we have access to a panel with two tabs, text-to-video and image-to-video. I activate the text-to-video tab. In the text-to-video section, we can type our ideas into the text box called prompt, and Kling AI will turn them into a video. I've already written down my idea, so I paste it into the prompt box. Just below that is the negative prompt panel. In this box, we can include unwanted elements or things we don't want in the video. This way, the AI will ignore those during video generation. For example, if you don't want the characters to have tattoos, you can write the word tattoo in this section. In the mode drop-down list, standard mode is offered in the free plan and allows for faster generation speed. Professional mode, which provides better visual quality, is only available through the premium plan. You must purchase the premium plan to use it. In the length drop-down list, you can control the video length between 5 and 10 seconds. Here again, the 10 second length is only available in the premium plan. In the aspect ratio section, you can choose between vertical rectangle, horizontal rectangle, or square. If you're creating content for Instagram, TikTok, or even YouTube Shorts, then naturally the vertical ratio of 916 or even square would be a good choice. But if, like me, you're producing long-form YouTube videos, then the horizontal 16 to 9 aspect ratio is the better option. In the Generating Count section, you can control the number of videos created in each generation process. Generating more than one video per process is only possible in the premium plans. After these settings, we have a slider with creativity on the left and relevance on the right. In this case, I move the slider a little toward relevance. After adjusting all settings to my preference, 
I click on the generate button. Currently, 20 tokens are deducted from our balance for each generation. My request enters the queue, and after a short wait, the video is generated based on my settings. Now I play the video. As you can see, my text has been converted into video by Kling AI in an unbelievably stunning and realistic way. But the result can be even better. So let's make some changes. I move the creativity and relevance slider a bit further toward relevance. I click on the generate button. 20 tokens are deducted from our balance. My request is placed in the queue. And after a short wait, the video is ready. I will keep adjusting the settings and repeating the generation process until I get a suitable and satisfying result. After several attempts, I reach this video. Let's watch it together. The result of the text-to-video feature in this test is amazing, realistic, and extraordinary. In the top right corner of the video frame, there is a download button. Let me also mention that in the free account, videos come with a watermark. To download videos without a watermark, you need to get the premium plan. When I hover my mouse over the three-dot icon in the top right corner, the delete option also appears. In the second step, we're going to add some magic to still images and turn them into lively and captivating videos. For this, I click on the image to video tab. Make sure the frames option is selected. Through the frames panel, we can upload images in JPG or PNG format, up to a maximum size of 10 megabytes and with a minimum resolution of 300 pixels. To do this, I click in the center of the box. In the window that opens, I select the desired image and upload it. Once uploaded, the image thumbnail appears in the frames panel. Then in the prompt section, we can type our ideas for animating the image as text. I've already explained all the settings in the previous example. You can change any of the items based on your preference. But in this example, I'll leave everything on default and click on the generate button. Again, 20 tokens are deducted from our balance. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, my image is transformed into a video and displayed. Now I play the video. The image has been turned into a beautiful animation, like something out of a Pixar or Disney movie, and it's truly stunning. If you're not happy with the result of a generate, try again and test multiple times with different settings. With enough attempts, you'll definitely get an amazing video generation. If you thought text-to-video and image-to-video were incredible, then get ready for a true masterpiece. The new elements feature in Kling AI version 1.6 is here to change the game forever. Ready? Let's explore the power of elements. In the image to video tab, I activate the elements option and delete the image related to the previous example. You just need to upload one to four completely custom and personal images in JPG or PNG format and describe in the prompt box what each item in the image is doing and how these images interact with each other. Based on your request, Kling combines the images and processes the data to generate a stunning video that intelligently brings your images to life. I click on the first slot and choose Upload an Image. I select the first image from my hard drive and upload it. In this case, it's an image of a robot. After uploading, the thumbnail appears in the first slot. I click on the second slot and upload the second desired image from my hard drive, which in this example is Spider-Man. After uploading, the thumbnail appears in the second slot. I click on the third slot and upload the third image from my hard drive. The third image is actually a picture of a street, the scene where my scenario takes place. After uploading, the thumbnail appears in the third slot. Then, a bit further down in the prompt box, I need to enter my idea. I have a prompt already prepared, and I paste it into the text box. The concept of this prompt is Spider-Man and the robot walking side by side down a street. Further below is the settings box. I've already explained all the settings at the beginning of this tutorial, but in this example, I won't change anything and I'll click on generate with the default values. Once again, 20 tokens are deducted from our balance. My request is placed in the queue, and after a short wait, my image is transformed into a video and displayed. The result is astonishing, but it can definitely be better. So I repeat the generation process until I reach a flawless result. As you saw in this tutorial, we created a Hollywood-style animation scene using the Elements feature in Kling AI. There are no limits now to making movies and animations. The only limit is your thoughts and imagination.
Was this tutorial helpful for you? If yes, then it's time to give it a like. Smash that like button and share this video with your friends. This tutorial is just one small drop from the endless ocean of tutorials that are uploaded on this channel. If you're passionate about AI, you've come to the right place. Subscribe right now and hit the notification bell so you won't miss any of my future tutorials. Remember, AI is the future, so embrace it now. In the next tutorial, we're going to blow your mind.